if you get nothing else out of this morning, understand that you are an immensely divine-like powerful creature. Right? The whole point to the work that I've been doing all these years, the whole point to why I set up Shambhala was personal empowerment. Right? Not for any nefarious reason, simply so that you can be free and live your life according to how you want to, according to your own will, not according to somebody else's will. Right? This is a very sacred thing. This is the beginning of you understanding how divine you are. Uh, and there are all the other abilities that people think of as psychic abilities or mystical abilities. These are the things, oh hi, I'm getting so much love. But it's not about that. The most important thing is about it freeing you. Right. And the way that they keep us under control is not with microwaves or with chlorine, even though they help. The way that they keep us under control is that they keep you believing that you are far less than what you really are. Wake up this morning. Let this Sunday morning, if you're laying in bed, be the morning that you wake up and realize, goodness me, I really am powerful. Everything that I see around me is me, right? Everything. You are a consciousness within this whole incredible living organism. There is no separateness. And if everything is a part of you, and it's amazing how still this has gone. It's like everything around here is listening to me at the moment, going, hmm, 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 that's right, we are part of you. So I hope that out there you are listening to me as well. How powerful it is. And I'm trying to remind the rest of you, the rest of me, wake up, be powerful. Uh, but let's not be a cold, dead ember. Right? Let's glow. Let's be a star. Do you get this? Do you remember what it's like to glow? Remember how when we were children, we all glowed. And there were no limitations. Right? And if you didn't live your childhood, where you experienced that for even a moment, I'm so sorry for you. But you can experience that now. Don't cheat yourself anymore. Every day should be fun and joyful and every day you should feel free. Do not live, do not waste one more day living in fear or depression. Do not waste one more day damaging yourself. Please, if you won't do it for yourself and do it for me, be everything that you can be. Choose to do that today. Hello, hello to everybody who is sending me love and likes and oh, it just means a lot to me to, un, to feel like uh, the message might be getting through you know after oh god how long about 40 years now I've been telling people so it might actually and it's really interesting when I see other spiritual teachers start to do aspects of this and it comes back to me and um, a lot of what we now call our metaphysical masters are people that have come to me for healings teachings readings or have been my students over the years and it's really nice to see them putting aspects of this message out there this is how it spreads right. but it's always good to give credit where credit's due my teacher I give credit to her all the time she was a lovely Tibetan lady that came into my life she was my main big teacher when I really needed help and uh, could have gone a really down a really dark path with my life and she slapped me around and straightened me up and I, pr I love her for it every day and her name was Kushog she was a Tibetan immigrant that was living in Australia and she just turned up on my doorstep one day uh, I made an appointment to come and see me for a reading but she wasn't there to give me a reading she was there to be my teacher and she became my teacher every day for about the next year and what I learned from her was phenomenal but the main thing I learned was to never be a victim to be fully empowered and she got me completely out of my victim consciousness finally once and forever so I want you to do that too move beyond your victim consciousness right? don't see karma as the universe taking revenge for people that's a big start right? nobody needs it 
right? The universe is not petty and it doesn't function on that level, right? But the action that you put out, right, is going to cause a reaction, right? So if people are being stupid and nasty, then the reaction will be that they'll end up alone and isolated and feeling like a victim. Bullies always end up victimizing themselves. You've got to worry about empowering yourself. That's all you've got to do. That's what these techniques are about. Coming out. But remember, everything I show you is not about that. that they're side benefits. Everything I show you is about energetics and empowerment. Uh, somebody asked me the other day, how do they explain and the different techniques to their husband without their husband thinking that they're nuts listening to some crazy woman on the internet. Just say you're doing energetics, energetic exercises. That's the easiest way to, to explain what you're doing, if you have to. I mean, why explain yourself to anybody? If you're doing something that feels good to you and you want to do it, you should do it. Right? Don't let other people steal your power and tell you that you shouldn't or try and make you feel bad about what you're doing when you know it's good. It's good for you. Right? And if, it, if it's good for you, then you can be good for other people. And there is absolutely no reason for you to be afraid. Right? Because everything in this world is you. And if you give up the fear, and you give up the depression, you give up the sadness, and you live with joy, everything changes. And everything starts working with you. That's my wish for you today. And if you get a chance to make somebody else feel joyful and fearless, uh, and fierce, I've got this t-shirt the other day, it's fierce, but fierce without being angry. Fierce just in, fierce joy, fierce happiness, fierce. If you get a chance to, to share that with somebody else and raise somebody else up to that level, you know what, synergistically you're helping yourself as well.